Hello, everyone, and welcome to the new season of the Purposeful Life Show with your host, Adrian Starks. I'm excited to share some new updates of the show with you, starting with a new look, sound, and energy, as well as a variety of guests coming aboard with intriguing topics of conversation. I hope you enjoy the new level of energy that will be brought to the show. Thank you for all of your support since the very beginning in 2019. Wow, it's been three years already? (laughs) Because of you, the Purposeful Life Show is now in the top 5% of all podcasts globally, and we aim to get it into the top 1%. Continue listening to the show and share it with others. You can also now listen to the show on my Facebook page at Adrian Starks, where you can comment in real time and communicate with me about your aha moments. Thank you again for all of your support. And let's make this one hell of a year and be purposeful about doing that. Wishing you all much love and success. For years, I was asking this question, what is my purpose in life? And life never gave me an answer. And I was mad as hell. (laughs) But then I realized the answer is always there. It's you. You have to be purposeful towards life. Life will provide you with the hints and clues, but you have to be purposeful towards what you're wanting to achieve and what you want to do. Welcome to the Purposeful Life Show on the Connect Now podcast with your host, Adrian Starks. If you're looking for the ideas that could be your breakthrough for change in your business, career, or personal life, then this podcast is for you. Join Adrian as he speaks on topics of personal and professional development for the person behind the business and interviews a variety of entrepreneurs, business owners, and thought leaders to reveal their ideas and solutions to success and its challenges. Subscribe to the show and leave us a review. It's time to connect, learn, and grow. Welcome back to the Purposeful Live Show with your host, Adrian Starks, and happy holidays to everyone across the planet. I know this week is going to be quite challenging for you and very stressful as you're trying to coordinate who's coming to your house or whose house you're going to, where you're traveling, what food you need to get and also hiding those gifts away from the kids to make sure they don't sneak in and see them before Christmas Day. (laughs) I remember as a kid doing that, and I was quite clever about it. I don't think my parents still know about that, though, but now they do. (laughs) What an interesting 2021 year this has been. And I know a lot of us right now are probably thinking, it was the same old, same old as last year, 2020. And that is the attitude I don't want you to bring into 2022. You see, a lot of people are going to be celebrating when that clock strikes midnight. They're going to be clashing their glasses together, their bottles jumping up and down, screaming and dancing and being excited about this new year. But a lot of them will not have a plan in place. And what will happen is that when 2022 rolls around, they're going to be saying the same thing they said in 2021. And you know what that is? Here we go again. Let's see if anything changes. Well, how about this? Let's see if you change for 2022. What I want to see is what are you going to do different that you didn't do this year? What have you learned in 2021? What was your biggest challenge this year? Write that down. What was the thing that made you the most upset? Write that down. That's a learning lesson. What are some accomplishments that you had this year? What are some things that you felt really proud of? You deserve to give yourself some pats on the back, okay? Write those things down. And I also want you to think about what do you want for 2022? Not for other people, but what do you want to accomplish in 2022? What do you want to create? That's what I want you to focus on. Spend this week enjoying yourself, of course, with family and friends, and however you choose to celebrate it. Or if you don't celebrate the holidays, then that's okay too. But spend this week allowing yourself to have some fun, allowing yourself to relax a little bit. But understand this, when 2022 rolls around, it's not the year that changes. It's you. You have to be the one that's going to change in 2022. This reminds me of the great quote from Maya Angelou, poet, singer, activist, playwright, author, It was this, 
You may suffer many defeats, but it doesn't mean that you have to be defeated. In 2021, a lot of us have suffered many things. Those suffering points are lessons that we can learn and turn that personal pain into our personal power to help us grow forward into 2022. That's what you can get from experiences. You don't have to say, well, this year was just, everything this year was just all out of order. It was chaos. It was pandemonium. You know what chaos is to me? Chaos are things coming apart that you fully don't understand in order for things to come together that you will eventually come to understand and even appreciate. It took me <laughs> it took me a while to figure that one out. So I want you to think about 2022. What do you want for this year? What is your plan? What do you want to achieve? What are some objectives? Like what actually do you want to do? Whether it be financial, whether it be something personal, something creative, something spiritual, relationships, what do you want? And how do you want to change in order to receive those things? That's the key. You can't just wait for people to change for you. That's not their responsibility. That's yours. You have to change. Can't wait for things to come to you. You have to go toward those things. You have to be that person that you radiate out the things that you're wanting to experience for yourself. So give more love in 2022. Have more self-love for you, for goodness sake. Come on. (laughs) Let 2022 find you prepared. There is one thing that I've come to learn. If you do not have yourself ready for that opportunity that comes around, you will not be able to experience anything new. 2022, step outside your comfort zone. Do more things that make you uncomfortable. Make sure they're not detrimental to your health, but you get it, right? If you're fearing something, that just means that, okay, maybe I need to try this. Take one step out and then put the other foot out and then begin to walk. Then run with it. Your life is going to be a system of things called experiences. And within those experiences, you're going to learn, you're going to grow forward. And you can do this in 2022. I want you to be focused in 2022. Have the eye of the tiger. Know what you want and know that it won't come easy, but know that you're going to get it if you're persistent. Instead of being that person's jumping up and down when the clock strikes midnight and saying, woo, and everything, Be the person that says, this is my year. I'm celebrating because I know what the hell I'm going to be doing this year. That's why I'm excited. I'm not just excited for the facade of just 2022. I'm excited because I've got a plan in place. That's what I want for you. To encourage you further, I want you to go throughout this podcast for the remainder of the year and listen to episodes. Go for those titles that resonate with you. Share them with other people. And if you want to communicate with me directly, go to my Facebook page, Adrian Starks, and listen to the podcast there, and you can comment in real time. And I will be able to respond back to you if you have any questions or if you just want to say hello. Subscribe to this show and make sure other people are subscribed and share the show with anyone who you feel may need it. The Purposeful Live Show was designed for a reason, so that you can see that it is up to you to bring purpose to your life. You see, for years, I was asking this question, what is my purpose in life? And life never gave me an answer. And I was mad as hell. (laughs) But then I realized the answer is always there. It's you. You have to be purposeful towards life. Life will provide you with the hints and clues, but you have to be purposeful towards what you're wanting to achieve and what you want to do. And your purposes will change throughout your life. That's called being a human being, and it's called evolving. But you have to be clear about what you want to be purposeful towards. So in 2022, what is that? I want to know. Do you know? So go back and listen to all these episodes, or listen to as many as you can. And to let those episodes steep inside of you, take notes, and use those notes to apply in 2022. Because remember this, knowledge without action is just knowledge. Knowledge with action becomes powerful. That's how you're able to create change. Apply what you are learning. And speaking of the podcast, I'm so excited to be sharing with you in 2022 that we're going to have some new things happening. You'll see a different style of the podcast occurring, how it looks, how it sounds. New guests are coming along, and I'm excited to talk about these guests. And I have one guest, I'll give you a spoiler alert here, that's coming on in January. And he is known as the Clue Man. Yes, I said clue man. He talks about the clues of business and personal life. There are going to be a lot of clues for you in 2022. 
And if you're not ready to observe those clues or see where they are, then you're going to miss out. I don't want that for you. I want you to enjoy your 2022 year and let that be the year for you to learn, to grow, and to fully express yourself. Wishing you much love and success, everyone. Happy holidays to you and your families. Enjoy your time and to be grateful for every moment that comes along. Because in the words of Marcus Aurelius, the great Roman emperor, do not live as if you have a thousand years to live because you really don't. Enjoy each day and plan ahead. Thank you for listening to the Purposeful Life Show on the Connect Now podcast with your host, Adrian Starks. Subscribe to the show and connect with us on Facebook and Instagram. Learn more about us by visiting our website at cnbn.ca. Go to connectnowpodcast.com to be inspired by more life-changing content. Let's connect, learn, and grow.